we're going to do here is just click play. This is an example from this week on the E-mini S&P where the market was moving lower. Now, from my understanding, what you understand is the market hitting the bids and lifting the offers, and you're looking for aggressive behavior. So you're asking yourself, okay, is the market, this is the question you've got to ask yourself when you're reading the dome and you're reading order flow, okay? Is the market taking out the bids and moving sequentially lower, or is it taking out the offers and moving sequentially higher? Right, on the right hand side of the dome, you'll also see a time and sales window. Now that will actually show you what orders are coming in and hitting into the bid and actually trading and what orders are actually coming in and lifting the offer and actually trading. So the volume on the trading ladder that I highlighted earlier, the pre-trade demand and supply on your dome are limit orders waiting to get filled. The actual trade that we're interested in is what you see on the right hand side where it says price and quantity. Okay, the actual volume that is traded is shown by quantity. That's the time and sales. Okay, so what you're watching out for here is at 45 quarter we see 366 on the bid. And then on the offer we see 723. Okay, let's just move back. Hold on. Just gonna pause this. Okay, so we're back to 45 quarter. We've got 462 on the bid now. We've got 13, 45 half with 772 on the offer. Now, um, this sequence is when the market was in a downwards move. I think it was on Wednesday. And the market takes out the bids all the way down to 43s. And then the 43 bids start to hold and the sellers can't take out those bids. And then what starts to happen is that you'll slowly start seeing 43 quarter being lifted, 43 half, and then it starts to come back towards 45. So it's like a two point rotation down and a two point rotation up for the E-mini S&P. So watch it as it starts to trade and I pause it every now and again. So notice as we're trading, you'll see the time of sales showing some of the big orders. I, I usually highlight 10 lots or more. Um, uh, and they will be highlighted in a uh, blue and in red on the right hand side. So what's a 45 quarter? We're hitting into the 45 quarter. We just start to pop below the 45 quarter. Then we take it out, okay? So notice now we've got um, some volume sitting there on the bid. At 45s, okay, 300 odd sitting on the bid there, okay. So there's volume sitting on the bids at 45s, and some volume sitting at uh, the offer at 72. Uh, so yeah, at uh, 45 quarter with 722 or somewhere along that, that line. It won't be exactly the same. So some of you guys might see slightly different number there, but you get the idea. We're traded down from 45 quarter down to 45, and now you see a bit more selling coming in on the time and sales. So you'll see uh, 15 lot there, 21 lot there. Um, etc so what I want you to do is just observe and just watch it as the market continues to trade into the bids it will fluctuate up and down it will trade between the bid and the ask so sometimes it will move between the current bid price and the current asking price which is 45 right now and 45 quarter but then slowly but surely it's it's moving lower it's sequentially moving lower so price is advertising lower and it's taking out the bids so there's a bit of a selling imbalance Sellers are taking out the bids and the supply is starting to exceed that demand. So keep watching and you'll see it. And when you're reading the dome, that's what you want to ask yourself. Okay, so let's just say we let's just pretend we've come off a, an area where we want to short. Okay, and you know, we start to see this taking place from 45s. So we're watching 45s, there's a bit of rejection. Watch the bids and offers trading. But well, the most important thing here is that we're watching to see whether we can keep pulling away from where we've just stalled. So 45 quarter is the area where we've just found resistance. And so that needs to become your reference point. So 45 quarter is the area you've, you've, you've seen us find resistance now. And then as we continue to trade lower, notice that the sellers keep hitting into the bids and keep taking out the bids. The volume that's sitting there on the bid, on the inside bid, slowly and surely keeps getting taken out. 
Okay, and then we keep pushing lower. Now we might uptick every now and again. Okay, you can see we take out some bids and uptick a couple of ticks. That's okay, that's normal. But the main thing here you want to reference is the 45 quarter where this move started. Are we still moving away from 45 quarter? And is a selling imbalance still occurring? So 45 quarter is a reference point. Okay, we test that 45 quarter. There we are, come back to it again. Okay, so the market will do this. It will trade lower, trade up, trade lower, trade up, trade up, lower, trade up. I've got a sequence later where I actually take a trade off this and you'll see how it works in real time when you actually have a trade on. Okay, but uh, this is just the dome itself, firstly. So look, are we still moving away from 45 quarter? Are we still hitting the bids at sequentially lower prices? Yes, right? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Are we moving away from that area that I'm I'm expecting some sellers and are we hitting the bids at sequential lower prices and continue to move away from it? That's the most important question. Yes, you are. Okay, don't get tied up on the amount of volume that's on the bid or the amount of volume that's on the offer. You're not interested in that. You're just looking at the sequence and is the market moving away? Is it continuing to become imbalanced lower? And you keep watching it as it keeps hitting the bids. And then you see the sellers start getting a bit heavier again, hitting into the 43.75. Notice how it keeps coming back to 44 quarter, retests, pushes lower, comes back up again, retests, pushes lower, retests, okay? Notice how we're taking out the 44s. We're testing the 44s now. 44s is acting as resistance. Buyers are trying to lift those offers, but the offers keep coming in. Okay, the offers keep coming in at 44s. And we keep taking out the bids. 